guys, this is Blendmaster here again with another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to create this cool shiny text effect in Blender. And we'll be using Cyclos so I'm going to just come up here and switch it over really quickly. So first thing we have to do is delete this cube and this lamp. And I'll enable screencast key so you can see. And you could model your own text but I'm just going to add a text object really quickly. And I'm going to rotate this on the X axis by pressing R and X to lock it on this axis. And I'll type in 90 and press enter. So you could model your own text or use any object you really want. The whole uh, effect is based on the material of this object. It's not really the model. So I'm just going to use um, a font called Forte for this tutorial. But feel free to use any font that you want to create your own effect. And I'll change the text to Blendmaster. And that's pretty much it. So now we have to add our material. And it's pretty simple material. We're just going to make this a mix shader and combine a diffuse shader with the glossy shader. And I'm going to open this preview tab so you can see what it looks like. And I'm going to set both of these to, uh, no, I'll just leave it like that. But I'm going to change the roughness of this glossy shader to 0.1. And as you can see, it's the reflection's a little sharper here. So now we have to add our light. And what we're going to use is a plane with another smaller plane that's a little brighter. So I'm just going to press Shift A, Mesh, Plane. Rotate this on the x-axis by 90 degrees and scale it by 0.1 on the z-axis and scale it by 0.5 again. And then I'm going to press Shift D, Scale, Z, and 5. And then I'm going to go to Side View and move this plane a little farther back so that there's some space in between the two. And I'm going to assign this plane an emission shader that's pure white but with the strength of one. And then I'm going to select this plane by selecting one vertice and then just pressing Control L so it selects everything it's connected to. And I'm going to create a new shader. And this is going to be emission also but the strength is going to be five. Now I'll tab out of... Oh, I forgot to assign it. I'll tab out of edit mode and move this plane so it's in the center of our text. So about there. And I'll tab out, tab into edit mode, select everything, and scale it along the x axis so everything is covered and everything will get light. Then I'm going to move this back to about here so that the light isn't concentrated in the center and almost pure white. I'm also going to go over to the Object Info tab, so, um, select Ray Visibility, and uncheck Camera. So that way when we go into Rendered View, we won't see a white plane. And I think I'm going to move this plane a little farther back. And I'm also going to change the world background color to pure black. I'm going to scale down this big plane also a little bit on the z-axis by 0.75 and then I'll just move it back in. Do some more. And this is really up to you and what you like. I think this is fine so I'm just going to leave it. And I'll set up the camera by pressing Control Alt Zero, then Alt G, and I'm gonna just move it around using the basic controls, just G, and then moving it along specific axes. And I think about here is good. So now what we want to do is create a mask that we'll use to separate the bottom half of this text from the uh, top half. And to do that, all we need to do is add another plane. And we'll give this the same emission material as the other plane. We'll rotate this on the x-axis by 90 degrees. And we're going to move this to the center of the text 
but have this top line exactly where we want to split the text in half. So I'm going to position it right about there. And I'm going to tab into edit mode and scale it along the x-axis so both edges are outside of the view of the camera. Then I'll move this plane to the second layer by pressing M and 2. And then I'll go to second layer and render this image out and then just save it as mask. Now we can go back to our first layer and increase the samples. I'm going to use about 500 samples for this and I'll just change the tiles so it increases the render time. And as this is rendering I'll jump into the compositor. A shortcut for that is pressing control left arrow and I'm going to make this full screen by pressing control and up arrow. I'll check use nodes backdrop and I'll just move the composite node there, render layer here and I'll press Control shift and left click it to bring up a viewer node. So once this image is finally rendered, the viewer node allows us to see exactly what we're doing in the background of this workspace. So it's almost done. I'll just click it again. And there, that's our image. And now I'm going to add our mask by pressing Shift A, input image, and I'm going to open it up. And we're going to use this mask to split our uh, text into two pieces. And to do that, we'll be using a mix node. But we're going to be changing it from mix to multiply. And the reason we're doing that is so when we plug in this image here, everything that's white in the mask will be shown, and everything that's black will be pure black. So we're going to duplicate this node and plug in the same two images again, but then we're going to add an invert color node to this mask so that way the top will become white and the bottom will be black so that we so that way we get the top half of our image here. And now I want this bottom half to be darker than the top so I'm going to add a hue saturation value node. I'm just going to bring the value down all the way to 0.1 and now we can duplicate this multiply node and plug in this uh, top one and if we change it to add it'll combine both of our images so we have a nice shiny sharp looking text effect And if you plug this into the composite node and go back select render result and then just uh, plug it into the viewer node again it should automatically reload and you have your image here and that's pretty much it so you can just press F3 to save it I'll save it as shiny text and that's it I hope you enjoyed this video quick tip on how to create shiny text in Blender and please leave a comment on any suggestions you have for future tutorials you may want to see and I hope you enjoy. Bye.